Another government white paper. This time, it, just, it shows the difference between science and engineering. You lot are all doing physics, I'm guessing. Good. So you understand what science is and how science works. What this quote does is draw a distinction between science and engineering. It helps us understand a little better the role of professional engineering. And it talks about a particular problem that science has identified, global warming. So I'll read it. It says science has helped us gain an understanding of how human activity is warming the climate, global warming, and what impact that will have on food and water security. I'd probably add energy security into that as well. Um, and crucially, what needs to be done to slow or reverse the warming trend? So that's it. Science has used experimentation and analysis to explore the world around us, identify the problem, it's characterised the problem, and it's quantified the problem to some extent. We've got a big problem, we urgently need to do something about it, otherwise the planet's going to go, it's going to finish. And that's where science stops. For being unfair to the scientists, they're the people running around with their hands in their air, screaming that we've got a problem, but they're not equipped to do anything about it. Science can't solve the problems the planet faces. And nor can the medics, and nor can the dentists, nor can the vets, nor can the lawyers, nor can the accountants, nor can the bankers. The only people that can harness the power of science and put it to use in the service of mankind are the engineers. There's four words to take away from today. Engineering offers humanity hope. Because science gives us data and information, but no solutions. It's engineering that pulled, draws that information and data in, and uses it to design and develop products that are going to uh, uh, allow the quality of human life to continue. Who recognises this man? Anyone heard of him before? Okay. The picture gives away what he's famous for. Theodore von Kármán, he's the first person to characterise supersonic and hypersonic flow. Very important man in aerospace. And if you choose to do aerospace engineering, you'll be sick of the sight of this fellow by the end of year one. He does a lot of the year one syllabus, comes down to him. But that's not what I want to talk about him today. He said this, the scientist merely explores that which exists, but it's the engineer that creates that which has never existed before. So here's another connection in your mind. We've already got engineering and quality of life, and now it's engineering and creativity. Two, con two connections that aren't necessarily always made by people.